ako po ay nagpapasalamat sa Unity, sa pangunguna po ng ating Pangulo, Pangulong Ferdinand BBM Marcos, at ang ating Vice Presidente, Vice Presidente Inday Sara Duterte. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pagtanggap po sa akin. After making this statement, perceived to be an endorsement of Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and Sara Duterte as the next heads of state, Senator Sherwin Gatchalian has just been taken out of the senatorial ticket of Senators Ping Lacson and Tito Soto. That says it all. I'm sorry it has to end this way. Na maghihiwalay kami. Especially, you know, I'm just sorry that Senate President Soto is not here because it's not on me. It's more on Senate President Soto being the chairman of the NPC. The Senate slate had several members of the Nationalist People's Coalition, including Senator Gachalian and another guest candidate, Senator Mig Subiri. Soto says the two were allowed to join the Uni Team rally as long as they will not make any endorsements. But Soto laments how only Zubiri held up his part of the bargain. What will you do with someone who does not follow a gentleman's agreement? Dahil labing lima yung gusto namin i-endorse. <laughs> eh, di kayo, di labing tatlo na lang. Soto is referring to the other NPC member who was taken out of their Senate slate, former Quezon City Mayor Herbert Bautista. On Tuesday, Laxon said that Bautista asked to be the NPC's representative to the uni team. We don't care if you don't endorse us, but please don't endorse other tandems. The two in separate statements said they respect the Lacson Soto tandem's decision. Bautista even said that their decision will afford him the opportunity to openly campaign for the uni team. The two are even part of the uni team sortie in Valenzuela, Gachalian's Bailwick. This will be their first appearance post removal from the slate of Lacson. Unlike the two, Senator Richard Gordon remains in the roster even after appearing in the Lenny Kiko proclamation rally. Reporting for News 5, Me and Los Baños, we are One News.